Hi, I'm Brian Hubbard and I'm helping to organise the Get Well Show, which happens at London's Olympia from February the 21st to the 23rd. It's going to be an extravaganza, a showcase of innovation, breakthrough, of all sorts of therapies which are proven to work on loads and loads of chronic health problems. And you've just got to be there because there's 41 speakers and over 90 exhibitors. And talking of speakers, we're very lucky to be talking today with one of them, the lovely Georgia Leonard. Is, uh, <laughs> we'll be talking on Saturday, so you've got to be there for that, at the very least. Georgia is an amazing young woman who's about to uh, give birth to twins, but she promises she won't do it at the show. <laughs> but, <Promise>. what, <laughs> but what she will be doing is talking about her own personal health journey and particularly I mean, from being a very active, fit, successful trainer, she still are of course, she found herself flat out one day, had no energy, couldn't move and didn't know what the heck had happened to her. So what had happened to you Georgia? Yeah, so I actually had Hashimoto's, right. um, which is the autoimmune form of thyroid disease. And actually, um, not many people know this, but up to 95% of people who have um, hypothyroidism have got Hashimoto's. Wow. Um, and, 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 and is it a spectrum disorder? I mean, can you be slightly tired or right the way through to how you were? You're flat out. So could people have, have feeling tired and not sure why? Could that be? A, yes, 100%. Okay. It sort of starts out like that and, and sort of builds. Okay. Um, and so for me, it, I felt tired and sort of struggling for years, but I think I got used to that. That became my sort of normal. Okay. Um, but then it, it developed into something where I actually couldn't function because right. I think I let it go. I let it go that far where I thought, oh well, it's just this, and it's because I'm a mom, or it, as as you we think people tend else. to do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, for you, once you, how did you discover it was a Hashimoto's? Mm. So I went for testing actually. Mm -hmm. I um I went up to um, Harley Street and had a full comprehensive blood chemistry test. Mm -hmm. Um, and I noticed that my uh, immune markers were a bit off, they, okay. didn't, they weren't looking right. Okay. I also noticed that I had some vitamin and mineral deficiencies mm -hmm. that I shouldn't have had because I was right. actually taking those. Right, <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, at the time, oh. so that was really interesting and I've seen that with a lot of clients who have Hashimoto's, mm. really interesting. Um, and that kind of made me think I need to I need to check. So my thyroid mm. markers came up on there as well. They looked okay. My mm. T3 was a bit low. TSH was in range and I thought I think this is I just thought I think this is Hashimoto's because right. I have all the thyroid symptoms, my immune system markers don't look right. Yeah. And I then requested antibodies, right. thyroid antibodies, to be tested, and that's how. But it, it, you're doing all this yourself, aren't you? You're driving all yes, this. Yes, I you're, have you're, to. <laughs> I have, yeah. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? You're yeah. your own medical detective, and you're yeah. your own therapist. Yeah, you have you have to be, yeah, your own health advocate. Because what is the conventional view of Hashimoto? Well, how would they treat it? Um, they don't. Oh, <laughs> but okay. they don't. So, so your standard GP will will actually say to you, as mine said to me, it's not treatable. Right. Um, okay. So they will only treat you if you become hypothyroid. So Hashimoto's is when your body attacks your own thyroid gland mm -hmm. and you produce antibodies as a result. Right. And you can see that on a test. Um, it, mm -hmm. And after it gets attacked enough times, it damages the right. gland right. and right. then right. you become hypothyroid. So right. then you have hyperthyroidism and Hashimoto's. Right. Um, but for me, I just had Hashimoto's. Right. So they won't treat it. Until they it, won't give you medication. Until you're far. Until it's... Far <laughs> worse. Yeah, until the gland is not functioning. But, but I know also yeah. that you discovered that there were certain tests and markers mm. that were essential for understanding Hashimoto's, yes. which again, conventional therapies do not recognize. Mm -hmm. So yeah. do you want to tell us just a couple yeah. of those or... Yeah, sure. So the most important thing with autoimmune conditions and with thyroid disorders and Hashimoto's is finding out what the cause is. Yeah. Um, and so what, what I did is I did a, a few tests. So the first was the comprehensive blood chemistry. Okay. So nutrient deficiencies can really drive 
Hashimoto's. Mm -hmm. So um, the first thing was to sort to sort that out. Obviously, a full thyroid panel, including um, antibodies. And then the other important tests were a gut health test, mm -hmm. so to, to look at um, which strains of mm -hmm. bacteria I actually have, mm -hmm. if my gut wall is, is permeable or not. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you find that it is, you can then work to fix that. Wow. Um, and lastly, a food sensitivity test, so right. to look at which foods are actually causing my body to produce antibodies. Right. So to produce IgG antibodies, which are so, the same ones involved. So in where are you today? Would you say you still have Hashimoto's that you're managing, or would you say you've now reversed it? Where, where are you? Um, I'd say I'm in remission. Okay. Um, you can't really ever sort of think that it's gone and it's never coming back and it's yeah. healed, and um, because it's you have the propensity to have it. Right. Um, but I would say I don't I don't suffer with the symptoms anymore. No. Um, I was obviously able to fall pregnant with twins yeah, and carry absolutely. them and I'm still very active, yeah. which is very different to, yeah. to how it was when I when I found that. Yeah. So so who should come along to hear you talk on Saturday and, and what are they gonna hear? So, it's better, so anyone who feels they're tired more often than they should be, and mm -hmm. maybe these are sort of early warning signs, aren't yes. they? Yeah. Um, and yeah. right way through to people who know they have Hashimoto's mm -hmm. and don't know what to do about it. So yes, definitely. Yeah, the thing the thing that's difficult with um, thyroid disease and Hashimoto's is there are so many symptoms that you can have. So, so no. I'll give you some of the most please, common yeah, ones. Please, please do. Um, so tiredness, weight gain, feeling colder than most people, okay. um, not being able to sleep very well, right. um, being constipated, having dry skin, brittle, thinning hair, right. um, the outside edges of the eyebrows thinning. Right. Um, so th those kinds of symptoms and, and also uh, anxiety and depression okay. as well. Yeah. So people who, who are feeling like they're suffering and yeah. they're not in their best health, but they haven't been able to find out why yeah. or get a diagnosis, which is actually very difficult with yeah. thyroid okay. disorders, should definitely come along so okay. I, could, I can help people to identify that. And then of course people who maybe are taking medication but they still have symptoms, which mm -hmm. is often the case because mm -hmm. you have to do more than mm -hmm. just take medication. Um, and yeah, anybody who knows that they are mm. suffering with, yeah, with yeah, a yeah. thyroid or an autoimmune wow. condition. And you're going to give them the whole blueprint of what they can be doing, foods to eat, tests they should have, and yes, yes. And vitamins they should be taking, etc, etc, I mean, yeah. it, which has worked for you. Yeah, I really want to be able to give people actionable steps, so it mm. won't be the same for every person, yeah. but I want to, to give people a pathway yeah. of this is what you need to do now, yeah. and so they can actually feel empowered and, and not feel helpless. And, yeah. Yeah. You know. That's fantastic, Julia. Yeah. You're yeah. radiant with health, if I'm going to say so, <laughs> and you're an absolute right. walking advert <laughs> for your own therapy. So, look, I mean, George is speaking on Saturday, but as I said, we have 41 speakers over the three days. Mm -hmm. We just need the one ticket, it gives you access to all these speakers each day. And uh, the thing to do is to go over to our website now, which is getwell.solutions uh, forward slash show. We can buy your tickets ahead of time. And why should you do that? Well, because it's cheaper. On the day, we're going to be charging you £25 a day access. And why not? We're so many fantastic speakers. But if you go along to the website now, buy your tickets ahead of time, it's going to be a lot, lot cheaper. I think it's currently 16 quid. Saving wow. <laughs> exactly. Even, no even jo Joe just said that. It's like absolute wow. Ten quid saving. You've got to be there. You'll be able to meet the wonderful Georgia, <laughs> and who's going to be have a stand there as well. And, yes, and I think you'll be, be there. To meet, to are you someone. three days or two days? Which three you? days. Yeah, I'll be Fantastic. there all three days. So any questions? Uh, how come along. You've got yeah. to be there, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, Georgia. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Really, really look forward to your talk on thank the day. You. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you.